movie. I'm a monument, you can never move me. I like when I just talk, find it real soon. <laughs> So, what do you feel like? Red? Oh, yeah. It's not. <laughs> hey, I need your ID first. Oh, shit. Sorry, Kelly. I may have left it at work. Sorry, Tony. The law is the law. No worries. I'll get it. No, I can't let you do that. But I've got ID. You're not allowed to buy alcohol for someone else. That's the law. Oh, fucking believable. Welcome to my country. I'll just drink for the both of us then. Are you texting? Nick? No. Where is he? I thought he was coming to dinner tonight. Um, he's working. Sorry. Thank <laughs> you. 
Morning. Quiver word. You smashed a tail light. She wants to lay a complaint. You're in deep shit. This is willful property damage. Where's your brain, Tony? I've got to conduct an internal review. Pending the outcome, you'll be moved to general duties. What? Fine. Turn around, come back here and sit down. There's been a car accident resulting in serious injuries to a young woman. I want you to take a look. Okay. Where is it? Perdefender. Rhonda. You know I can't do that. Too much family. Yeah, that's exactly why I'm sending you. Half of them won't even talk to me. Because of the kinship system? Yeah, exactly. They won't talk to me if we're wrong skin. At least some of the people will talk to you. No one will talk to us. There's something else. The accident happened in an area closed for men's business. What was a young woman doing there? I don't know. Look, my uncle Samuel is a community police officer. He's excellent. He can cut through where I can't. Nah, I don't think a community officer is going to be enough. Why not? The girl's white father is blaming her black family. The last thing we need is this escalating into some sort of community payback that goes on for years. I need to send in a detective to make it look like we're taking things seriously. Calm everything down before it gets out of control. Plus, I need to get you out of my hair for 48 hours so I can sort your shit out. The girl's name's Mariah Kaywood. She's in ICU. James, forever. So, no phones in here, please. I told you that already. So scans reveal a bleed on the brain. When the swelling goes down, we'll be in a better position to advise. The bleeding on her brain, how did that happen? A blow to the back of the head. But her vehicle hit the tree head-on, wouldn't the impact be at the front of her head? Yeah, you'd think so, uh, but it wasn't. And this? Yeah, I don't know, but it's a very unusual injury. She was wearing a seatbelt. Yeah, so there shouldn't be any injury to her face at all. Okay. Yeah, the doctors are doing everything they can. She shouldn't be in there. She should be with me. I'm her mum now. Mariah's mummy. She finished up now. Answer. I gotta look after that girl now. You're no good father. Look what happened. Ha hang on a second. Can we talk first? Is that all right? So where's she been living? She been too busy in town. Went there when she was 13 to live with her white fella father when her mummy finished up. So what was she doing out there last night? Oh, they were probably humbugging. Because that's the only time we ever hear from them when they want something. Ain't that right, Arca J? You <laughs> shut your white mouth! Hey, yeah, anybody, anybody. Hey. What was she doing out at a Protathinder? Come for a visit. Have a feed. Cup of tea. 
Does she visit often? Sometimes. Not much, but her white father don't like us bush mob. Yeah, well, you see what happens when she does, eh? What time does she leave? 7.30. 8, maybe. Now, she wasn't found until after midnight. Do you know where she went? When was the last time you saw your daughter? Just that morning. Did she say anything about going out to a Prithinda? Why are you asking so many questions about a car accident? It's just standard procedure. Doing? Stop. Are you deaf? I said stop. Who told you to move the car? Samuel. What a quarry. What a mama. This is police business now. Did you authorize the removal of that vehicle? You just compromise the investigation. As a compromise, my look. Why you gotta complicate things? Murga accident and I'll then eh? Are you sure about that? Harlan? She would have seen the sign and knew that there was men's business happening. What was she doing here? Come on, Mondra and Marai. Hey, I don't come for a winner. I'm going to go with the neck with the neck. There's another set of tracks here. 
Held the cleaning room, put it in on the evening. The men found her. Oh, what? What do they think about her being here? I don't know what they think about her being here. I don't know what they found her lying in the dirt, not in the car. How did she get outside of the car? You go. There was another car here. So Mariah was driving really fast around the corner. She loses traction, hits the tree. Those tracks over there indicate that there was someone following behind her. Maybe they were chasing her. Look, sorry to interrupt you too. I've got to go back into town. I've got heaps of work on, all right? Yeah, damage is already done. Vinny, you're right to go, Brad. Put it on. I need to talk to the men who found her. Yep. Ini bandar kalau kan, ramai orang kan. Nukul kan jangan pelan aja. Okay, you talk to him. But I need to know exactly where Mariah was when they found her. Anything else? And if they saw another vehicle out there. How many men were out there? What a bitch. How long were they out in the desert for? Yeah, a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks? I thought men's business went for months. Uh, modern day in America. Eh? Microwave here. Cooker and turn them What about the tracks? Did Broderick see another car? I don't want to call it luck. I'm going to buy a book. I'll get a book. I'm going to get a book. I'm going to get a book. Did you ask him? Are you going to do something?
why you live? I'm not here to catch up with family. Look at that, Sandra. Look at that. Ura, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to go to the Yeah, no, Mom. I'm sorry. Wow. This is beautiful. You're going to go to Paris, right? Paris? Yes, I'm going to go to the house. 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 <laughs> you already got to follow Eileen. You know what I got? Who's taking you? I am. Nice to see you again, Penanga. You too, Isabel. Well, yeah, yeah. What's your cut? How much are you giving back to your bush family? Well, hey, I'm a poor man, Jagana. Mora, Mia. If you must know, my fee is 60%. If you're that interested, I could sell you one at family rates. How much? For family? 45, 50,000? Unda kaucha nanaka. Yeah, of course. We've got boomerangs, spears, digging sticks, grinding stones, shields, men and women together. Hunting and traveling from waterhole to waterhole. Almost. It's actually young people hunting in the sand hills. It talks about how they used to walk around naked and how they'd swim together and make love by the waterholes. It's beautiful, huh? Great. I gotta go, Mum. I love you. See us. I'm Carl, Carl Roberts, government business manager. 
This is Xavier Puntara. He's one of the senior men in the community. I'm Detective. Yeah, we know who you are. You should know better than to walk around here without telling the elders first. You got no respect. He knows who I am. He knows he's not supposed to talk to me. I'm Prananga. He's Peltara. We're not even supposed to be in the same space together. Pull your finger out, Carl. Oh, and unlock the basketball court so the kids can play on them. Detective. If you need a hand with anything, I'm happy to help. Mind you, eh? What are they gonna do? Cause we're trouble. Hello, Detective Tony Alma. Is everything all right? Can she talk? Thank you for that. I'll call you in the morning. Looks like Mariah's going to be OK. All right. No, I'll be in town. I'm glad and done, You trying to get rid of me? Oh, you made one of them. I'm going to get them. Rhonda said I have to be here for at least 48 hours. What for? Long story. Number Marla Ken, on the room, on the Marana Pitcher Pitcher. What up, where'd you go? Come to see if you had a cup of tea with me. Yeah. I saw Brendan today. Yeah, and? Oh, you're another kind, Mum. No, he's not. He needs to snap out of it. Who's going to look after him when you go to Paris? No. No. He's not staying with me. I'm not looking after him. He can stay in town with you and your wailbala. He'll run a muck in town. He's running a muck here. Rekagan Gwen, huh? Well, he's your son. Take him to Paris with you and his game and yeah, yeah, Isabel. Hey, Isabel and Bay. Ral Moiral. Is she? She just like all them others leeching off you, mob. You having a baby? No. I used to have milk, but when I was pregnant with you, thought it would make me sick. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Mum. But we are done, la mangam. Hope you're not taking them to Melbourne with your white fella. Hey! Well, get on that to come around and say hello. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 Is that Uncle 
Antonia? Yep. My baby girl. Oh, look at you. How old are you now? Six. Six? Yeah, she's six years old. Gosh, she's so big. Come sit here on Annie's lap. Missed you. Yeah, for that girl, eh? Mariah? Yeah. Poor thing, how is she? It's looking good. She'll be right by morning. Oh, that's good. Roderick say anything? He was with the men. He found her. They took her to the clinic. Pull up in that place when now switch off. All right, all right. You should come hunting with us. Ah, you see these hands? The crime fighting hands now. <laughs> I can't go hunting. ก็นั่นว่าล่ะคือเจนนี่สงวนอัลกอนทรัพย์เงินกินดอร์บารัมเอ้ยจิกุระเนี่ยนั่นนั่นมาเรื่องงูตัวอัลบุ๊มเฮ
Mariah Kay would passed away first thing this morning. Oh, shit. Okay. I've been looking through Mariah's medical file. The injuries she sustained, plus those photos you sent me, the tire tracks at the crash site. In fact, she was somewhere she wasn't supposed to be. I don't think it was just an accident. Exactly. If someone else was involved, we're dealing with a potential homicide. I'm sending out another detective to assist you. Sure. Who is it? We can't say Mariah's name anymore. We call her Kuma J or M. Thank you. Don't let anyone give you a skin name, whatever you do. What do you mean? I've already got one. Yeah, but now that we're not together, it's best you don't have one. <laughs> Fucking point of having a skin name if I can just give it back. Why can't you give yours back? I can't. You can, because you're white. Look, the advantage of being white is you can talk to anyone. Otherwise, there's no point in you being here. Any of you know who Kuma Jay's been hanging out with? Ask your brother, Brandon. Hey, Viv. Hey, you don't need to avoid me. We broke up. Yep. I'm not your son-in-law anymore. You wouldn't have what I'm worried about a wedding then. Mia, right? Why wait for a Hey. I went to pick her up, but she's not at home. Her family don't know where she is. Well, something's wrong. Eileen wouldn't just not show up. She really wants to go to Paris. Is there any chance this is connected to Kuman Jay's death? We need to have a look at her room. Hey, we need a list of all of her friends and her workmates. Did she have a boyfriend? No, it's no boyfriend. There's no bloody girlfriend either. Leave us to it. Where the 
hell would she wear these? Bingo. Where would Mariah get this much cash? I don't know. There's over fifteen thousand dollars there. A teenager with this much hidden money suggests something illegal. Drugs, gambling, selling stolen goods. Yeah, well she wouldn't do that. She's a good girl. Yeah? You didn't know she was sneaking out to a put a thinder? You didn't know about the money? You go and find out why she died, and you come and tell me. Okay. the tires can't talk to her that's broderick if anyone knows anything he does he's hiding something there's lots of friends and family she's popular kuma jay was taking tourists to sacred places if someone in the community found out what would happen give her a good hide Coming up, over on NITV, NAIDOC Week continues as Carla Grant speaks to the award-winning writer, producer and director about her life and career. In Living Black, Erica Glynn, showing our true colours.